Some of the residents staying near the rivers here and there in the country say that the water ruins their crops, damages their houses, and is also very dirty. Environmental experts point out that it is due to soil degradation from erosion from the hills around those rivers or the mining of underground natural minerals, which results in more soil and dirt ending up in the rivers. In 2018, a six-year plan was launched to address the issue and turn the Nyabarongo River into clean and clear river. Nevertheless, no change in action has been made, according to the residents. <laughs> When we plant greens and we water them using Nyabarongo water, the greens get ruined. You even find that they have changed color due to watering them with dirty water. So when we take it to the market, people don't buy them. Like the other day, it rained and the flow changed direction and the crops that had been planted were flooded. Acting Projects Manager at Rema, Janet Umugwaneza, says that there are obstacles that have led to the preservation of the rivers and changing water into clean and water not to happen immediately. It is a long journey that can't be completed in a few years because where the rivers flow, there is still other activities done by agriculture, mining, so when it is not done properly, it causes the soil to flow into the rivers. Another thing is that it is still difficult to make the water clean and clear because their river flows through other countries, so there are cases when dirt from other countries gets to us through the river floor. <laughs> In Rwanda, there are nine rivers, but currently, four are the ones being worked on due to the damage that it is causing to the residents. It is Muvumba, Nyabugogo, Nyabarongo, and Sibaya. Prime Gabaziza, Director General of Rwanda Water Resource Board, says that as part of the Sibaya River Basin Conservation Project, it will be completed at a cost of about 22 billion Rwandan francs. We started from an area where there was more damage than other places. When there was a flood, infrastructure in different areas would get destroyed and lives would be taken as well. Right now, we are trying to take good care of the rivers more than ever before. We are currently building dams as the one we are building for Muhazi so that it does not become an issue for Nyabugogo River. If it is not done now, it may become a problem in the near future. During the rainy season, water bodies that have had an issue of overflooding and unpaved costs have posed a threat to the residents. Their crops would get ruined and their houses would get destroyed as well. Citizens are also required to take part in its maintenance to prevent any damage to it. Water bodies to be processed, including those of rivers such as Nyabarongo, Akanyaru, Muvumba and Sebaya. One of the main activities is to cut terraces around the rivers and dig trenches to reduce the water and debris that ends up in the rivers.